Hello there, I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. Today is our first episode of Oathbreaker. For those of you that don't know, Oathbreaker is a commander-adjacent format where you have a planeswalker as your commander instead of a legendary creature. You also only have 20 life and 60 cards in your deck. Lastly, you get a signature spell in your commander's colors that stays in your command zone and can only be cast if your commander is in play. If you'd like to look at all the rules, go to oathbreakermtg.org. Hello, I'm John M. I'm playing with Jessica, Thrice Reborn, as a single partner, and then her, arc, what's that card called? Signature spell. Signature spell is Arc Bond. It's designed to have creatures come out that deal lethal damage if they have power four or more to a single unblocked creature, by the way. Hey everyone, I'm Jason R. I'm playing Shorikai, Genesis Engine, as my Oathbreaker, because it says it can be your Commander. Cheater. Cheater. <laughs> Boo me in the comments. And I'm playing Silence as the signature spell. We're just trying to combo off with a Jace win or something similar. Hey, I'm Spencer. I'm playing a Johnny Greathearted. And I'm using the signature spell of Riding the Dilu Horse. So the deck's filled with a bunch of hexproof creatures to give horsemanship to. Hi everyone, Julian here. My Oathbreaker is Aminatu the Fate Shifter. This is basically a Miracles deck where uh, I have Vamp Tutor as my signature spell, and I'm just gonna be stacking the top of my deck with fun stuff. Can only do it 10 times though. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Eight, seven, nine. Oh, so close. Oh, Sweet. How close I can draw for turn? Mm -hmm. Mountain. I will use that to cast Scorch Spitter. 1-1, one, one, when it attacks, it deals one damage to the player or planeswalker it's attacking. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Okay. Pass. Planeswalker too, even. Draw for turn. <laughs> Planes, go ahead. Draw for turn. Should apply a forest and pass. All right, draw for turn. Tundra, pass. Untap, draw, fancy mountain. Uh, I'll pay two, I'll cast Lizard Blades. It's a 1-1 one, one double strike. Gross. Mm. Combat, I'll attack Spencer for one. Oh, and he deals one more damage. And I'll deal one damage to you. Pass. Broken Ooh, red. So good. Draw for turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ancient Den into Silvermere. Nice. Pass. And draw, play planes, and then I'm gonna cast Staff of Titania. Ooh. What is it? it costs so three to equip. It costs three to equip. An equipped creature gets plus X plus X, where that's the number of forests I control. And whenever an equipped creature attacks, I create a 1-1 one, one green forest dryad land mm. creature token. And your turn, I'm going to brainstorm. Ooh. Okay, I'll do that one. I'll do that one. Okay. Okay, draw. Play a Vault of Champions, and we will pass. Ooh, one time. Julian and his instant speech shenanigans. <laughs> Drop it, sir. I'll play this mountain. We'll attempt to cast Jessica. Okay, I'll use her ability to choose a... Oh, she comes in with one. May I? Yeah, of course. One loyalty, because I've only cast one. Commander from the zone. Uh, I'll choose target creature. Uh, actually, I'll do it for Lizard Blades. We'll do that. Until my next turn, if it would deal combat damage to one of my opponents, it deals triple that damage to that player instead. I'll move to combat. Attack Spencer for one. Julian for one double strike. I would I would advise attacking elsewhere. <laughs> it's okay. You okay. can kill it if you want. Okay. All right. All right. Then uh, so that'll be six damage. Yes. Glass cannon. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'll path it. All right. Does that mean I get lands? Yep. You yep. get your Sweet. Uh, yep. Awesome. Exiled. No. Exiled. Exiled. Maybe she'd path to exile my stuff. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I've got for this turn. Pass. And uh, draw for turn. We're gonna play a. Knight of the White Orchid. First strike, when it enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more lands than me, I, I search my library for planes, put it onto the battlefield, land for turn, island. We're going to merchant scroll, search my library for a blue instant or interrupt. Reveal and then shuffle. I'll reveal put it in my hand. Response? Sure. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Man, yeah, the 20 life definitely feels different. Oh yeah, it's like, for sure. like pressure's on. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a bit scary. Yes, I do. I do kind of like it though, because because like having a board presence actually matters. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna reveal Whir of Invention. This goes to the graveyard. Pass. Tap and draw. Play Yavamaya, Cradle of Growth. Ooh. All lands are forests. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't really help you guys at all. I'm gonna play Troll Aesthetic. Ooh, so hexproof. Three two hexproof, and I can pay two to regenerate. Um, I'll pass. Okay. Untap, upkeep. Draw. Seven mana ramp types of things in there. So I'm gonna miracle yeah, out uh, Sister Repentia. No, you will not. Nice. Um, <laughs> it's, a, nice. it's a five one. Um, when it dies, I gain two life and draw two cards. This is Play this is your turn. Prismatic Vista, okay. and Splendid. I will pass. I'll untap. Draw. View mountain for turn. Well, we'll just 
go for it, see what happens. Three, I will cast Ball of Lightning. <laughs> 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 and I'll use Jessica's ability to, if it deals damage to an opponent and deals triple that much, I will move to combat. So that's going to be 18. I'll attack Jason. I have a first striker. If that matters to you. And I'm also going to give it 3-3 three, three and trample. Oh. oh, dang. So are you just dead? I think I'm just dead. <laughs> wow. <sighs> okay, wow. Well, dang. uh... I died. <laughs> That's, Last uh, game. Hmm. Pass. <laughs> now I gotta worry about that. Play a forest for turn. Oh, end of turn. Sorry, that gets sacrificed. So I'm going to cast be... Kadama's Reach. I'm going to get two planes. So I'm tapped one to my hand. And I shouldn't attack. I think you should absolutely attack. <laughs> you need to get Jessica yeah, off like, the board. Yeah. Actually, I probably should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, I, I, I will attack the Jessica if he if he blocks your creature. Like that. That That's needs true. to happen. I definitely should do that. Yeah, I'll attack Jessica for three. I will let it go. And then I will pass. I'm going to, at the end of your turn, I'll pay a life, sack Prismatic Vista. I'm going to go get a island. <laughs> I already knew what it was. I'm like the moment that I make that move is when everyone's like, "Okay, kill him." Uh, <laughs> yeah, that that was that's okay. It's that was scary. impressive though. That was like <laughs> ball lightning is super crazy. All right, I will go to my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Let's see, island. Because this idea is heavily untested. But like any mono move. aggro, any mono red aggro, there's only so much gas before. Yeah, it's just sitting. It's I'm gonna cast water. a counterbalance. Ooh. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, I reveal the top card of my library, or, or I can choose to reveal the top card of my library. Um, if it has the same converted mana cost, the spell is countered. Well, the Jessica's gone. I'm good. I'll pass. I was thinking about attacking. But... He has the mana. That is a good blocker. That Draw for turn. It, it is a good blocker. <laughs> yeah. Mountain. Okay. Jessica on the stack. I can reveal the top card of my library. That's a time warp. <laughs> <laughs> That's counted, right? Yeah, no, isn't it five no, no. on the stack? No, it's three. No, I, no, no, I cast no, it for three. five, but that, oh, okay. It's only yeah. three. I can remember. But now we know he has a time warp, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you do know I have a time warp. Uh, and so, it's coming. That's fine, you can have you, Jessica. Two. Ability, Scorch Spitter. Woo. Since time's coming my way, we'll go to attack. And I will cast a spell. Ooh. Called Titan Strength. Creature gets three one, and I scry one. You don't want to wait until he declares no blocks or something. Oh well, I was I was I was probably gonna block it no matter what. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, you can you can you can scry. I will choose not to reveal the top card of my library. Oh right. right, right. In case you guys have very short attention spans. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that on the bottom. Okay, I will block. He blocked it. So Ooh. he's gonna deal one damage and die. Yep, um, I will take one damage. An attack trigger um, for him. And uh, I will gain two life, draw two cards from Sister Repentia dying. That also dies. Okay, pass. Tap and draw. Put planes. Don't play anything, five mana. <laughs> well, well, well that, that's, that's not on. I, I drew two cards. Oh, yeah, so, you're right. Yeah, we don't know, right? So who knows what's on top? I'm going to cast my uh, Ajani. Ajani. Okay, trigger Ooh. counterbalance. That is a polluted delta. Cast away. On the top. All right. <laughs> you can still choose to counter it if you have it. Yeah, I am going to counter that. I'm going to double speed on that. Oh. I really wanted that vigilance. You can attack me I if you want. I can attack. Or you can kill Jessica again. Totally fine. Understandable either way. Yeah, he has haste. It's scary if you have haste, which I'm sure you have a lot of. There's some. He did just ride sure. the bottom, so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's pretty even. You have Jessica out. But you also know there's a type one coming. Yeah, I think I'm going to attack you for three. That's fair. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that was the right call. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what do you think of Oathbreaker so far? We still have the second half of the game here in just a second, but if you are enjoying this and you want us to keep trying new formats or just bringing you awesome content, consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. It's only $2 a month. You get access to our private discord and a bunch more. We really would love your support. You can also make sure to subscribe. Go ahead and do so right now if uh, you enjoy what we're bringing you. Like this video, comment down below, and a big shout out to our King patrons, Worthy Glover and Jordan Ritchie. You both rule. All right, untap, upkeep. Oh, I wonder what this card is. This polluted delta is a forest. Oh, okay. nice. nice. Yeah. Okay, sure, I'll, ju I'll, ju I'll just time warp now. I wanted to save it, but so that's that. I will go to my next turn. I literally just paid five mana to get another land in play. <laughs> and draw a card. Five mana growth spiral. <laughs> we need to play huh. again, I feel <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> like... Uh, okay, I'm gonna play a Mystic Sanctuary, put Time Warp uh, back on top. Ooh, <laughs> I wonder what's on top. No. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. 
And it's untapped. It is a mystery. It is untapped, yeah, because uh, Tundra is an island. Cast Aminatu. I think I'm actually going to minus Aminatu and exile this Vault of Champions, have it come back. A Keen Duelist. At the beginning of my upkeep, myself and target opponent can reveal the top card of their libraries. They each lose life equal to the card uh, <laughs> revealed by the other. So, so I'm almost losing five life next I was turn. like, yeah, that's 25% of the total. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn. Untap, draw for turn. Oh, I'll pay uh, one. Noble of you. Blazing Root Wallet. <laughs> That's it, pass. Can okay. Give a three, one. We're top decking now, bros. <laughs> Tap and draw. I'll play another planes return. Equip the staff now. Mm-hmm. It's a 10, nine. Who to attack? Uh, I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> you, it's, well, it's you do have the time warp back. It's, yeah. it's, it's equally, probably me. It, it's like, it's like 99% of the you, time. And you're just probably just gonna block it. Oh, I, yeah. Actually, I'm it absolutely. will be an 11, 10 when it I'm not oh, I'm uh, the duelist, though. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Sure. Sure. Okay. Totally. So yeah. That'll be eleven damage. Okay. Yeah. Because the Boom. forest drive. Or actually, I'm gonna delay that. Ooh. Oh. Okay. As if I have three turns, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but you never know. You got anything else, Spencer? But I. All swords. It. That might be a bad decision, but we'll find out. Okay. Ooh. All right. So you'll gain two and then lose eleven. <sighs> Mine's still Okay, delayed, so I'll though. lose nine. <laughs> Watch. Get the game going. It unsuspends and kills the last person. <laughs> John, John wins. Um, I'll pass after that. It could happen. Untap, upkeep, draw a time warp. So apparently smashing face is like the best way to work in this. <laughs> right? I'm well, gonna, in this game, in this setting, get a quick, sure. Unless you get, and get a quick combo out. Sometimes. Yeah, because I... Or you just time warp for turns, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to time warp, and then I'm going to cast a Vampiric Tutor. Hey, there you go. Right. Search my library, put a card on top. Nice. I'm gonna put that on top of my library. Ooh, it's pink. <laughs> I say it's more fuchsia. Fair. I will plus one just for just, I'm gonna draw a card and then put it back on top of my library just to, uh, just yeah. to do it. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will reveal a terminus. There it is. Mm. I'm gonna put all creatures on it's the bottom of their owner's library. The saga continues. <laughs> I'm gonna uptick Aminatu, draw a card, this card, back on top. I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, <laughs> woo, delay, draw. Yeah, that, that lightning bolt is actually kind of scary. That, 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 that's half my life. <laughs> oh, crap. Glass cannon. Let's turn fire cat. Gross. It's a 7 Gross. 1 trample haste. Uh -oh. I was gonna kill somebody here. Hi, Julian. <laughs> Counterbalance trigger. I am going to cast Vamp Tutor for three mana. Okay. Nice. Smart. Smart. Nice. <laughs> Julian always has the spiciest plays. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Definitely taking away 50% of Julian's life makes things very, very tight here. Oh, yeah. It does. It absolutely uh, does. Yeah. Pushing through that damage probably was the right answer. If we were trying to gang up on Julian. We're not trying to gang up on Julian. We're totally ganging up on Julian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will put this on top. I will reveal a God Eternal Kefnet. Oh man, that's wow. counter. Oh man. Nice job. That's it, pass. Drop for turn. Well, you have to do one damage to me. <laughs> you have two turns to do one damage, yeah. Fly a forest. I think I'll do this. Finale of Devastation for six. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna grab prime time. What? <laughs> oh. What? So you search for two lands now and put them on okay. the plane. Okay, <laughs> yep. No, I'm pretty That's sure they come not a is it? Don't think the battlefield's not. Oh, oh. Yeah. I think I'll grab the Dryad Arbor. If I die to if I die to a Dryad Arbor. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can do. I can't attack. So. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uptick Aminatu first. Draw a card. Put this one back, I guess. No, I need to put that back. Land for turn. God Eternal Kefnet. Flying, uh, you can reveal the first card you draw each turn um, as you draw it. Whenever you reveal an instant or sorcery card this way, you copy that card and you may cast the copy. It costs two, two colorless less. When he dies or is put into exile from the battlefield, put it into its owner's library, third from the top. Pass the turn. Oh, that upkeep. Lightning bolt sound to one. R R R R R <laughs> <laughs> draw for turn. <laughs> it's not a creature pass. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, even though like a third of the stack is creatures. <laughs> Draw. Be six this time. Cast a Johnny. Okay, comes over five. Might as well uptick him. Gain three. And then I'm going to equip the Staff of Titania. 
So that's plus 10 right now with all these lands, all these forests. I'm gonna tag Julian for 16. It'll be 17 when this comes into play. Mm -hmm. And you search for two lands. And I search for two lands, so it'll be 19. Julian, if he kills you, I need a miracle. Well, well, past well that. And, and that's and, and that's why I'm saying. <laughs> and, it's and that wasn't punny with your oh, yeah. deck theme. It that just kind of came out how it did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two, yeah, I'm dead. I completely forgot it has trample. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, yeah, yeah, I die. All right. After combat, I'm gonna cast Glade Cover Scout. It's hexproof one one, and then pass. Untap. Upkeep, lightning and bolt hope triggers. That you don't have I'll, a big trample. I'll bolt you for three. Okay. Not a Johnny. Not a Johnny. Nah, it's okay. Okay. I have one. If this isn't a creature, I'm dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is not a creature. I will cycle flame blitz to draw a card. It's a creature. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> yeah. So, we'll cast Rog Rock. <laughs> Which. Not really relevant right really now. help you. <laughs> I'll pass to you. Draw. Play a forest, that gets him up to a 20-20, and then he'll be 23 once another of these comes into play. <laughs> <laughs> and I might as well attack with those. Yep. They all have vigilance, so. There you go. Um, okay. And then they, I get two more lands, so. <laughs> yeah, they have vigilance, so Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay. well, <laughs> nice yeah, job. That, nice right? job. <laughs> Sorry you had to sit there that yeah, whole okay. time. It's okay. This was my baby. <laughs> I mean, I should have let you play with it. No, oh, it's okay. 